And so let me, let me, let's get ahead here. Let's talk a little. There's a couple things that I got to follow up on. If you want a, gr a complete Wilkins breakdown, you can listen to the segment from yesterday. It's all there. There's a lot of stuff that I broke it down. A lot of things to make you think. And I think once you hear the show and hear the entire breakdown, you will then agree with me. I think if you're logical that this is actually the right move by them, uh, letting him go. Now, there's uh, there's something going on that's floating around by writers, by on-air people. Um, not that really QAM has really almost anyone that can give you inside outside of Joe, to be quite honest. Nobody really has any connections with that team. And I don't know how much Joe is even involved with the team at times. You know what I mean? So if there's a chance of anybody breaking any news or giving you any kind of insight, it's Joe. And then that's it. There's nothing else on that station. Okay. No one on that station has any insight on anything, on any team, on any work. But you still hear people talk stuff, right? And you hear and you watch people write. Um, some stuff on you. I, I don't really check too much YouTube. Uh, sometimes some of you will send me some stuff and all that. But in general, this is what I've been hearing with Wilkins. Okay. Television, that too. Um, well, maybe what the Dolphins are doing is that they're going to allow him to go test the free agent market. And then he's going to come back and give the Dolphins a chance to match it or beat it or something like that. I, I don't think you understand what's going on here. This is not an amicable situation by any stretch whatsoever. There's not the love fest. You know, there's a professionalism. They're not airing any dirty laundry. They're not talking about why they're disappointed. They're not talking about why they didn't offer this, that, whatever. They're, they're not doing anything. They're just being professional. And since most of the people out there really have zero insight whatsoever, then they think something silly like Christian Wilkins is coming back or even going to give the Dolphins a chance, he's done. He's done. He wasn't happy last year that he didn't get his contract. And he let everybody know that he wasn't happy last year that he didn't get his contract. You just don't know about it. Just like you didn't know that Brian Flores was going roughshod through the building. Nobody knew. Christian Wilkins not coming back, dude. He wants to leave now, get money, and prove that he is what he thinks he is. That's what's going to happen. There's no coming back. I don't know where people are coming up with this silliness. And if they are, it's because they have zero insight. And they have no idea. So they just want to throw it out there and mislead you. There's no coming back. Can we be, can we be in, clear enough on this? I think I was clear enough for months that he wasn't getting a contract and he wasn't getting tagged. And that's exactly what's happening. Why would you think they could they didn't want to pay him last year what he thought he was worth? Now with nine sacks, he's going to think he's worth way more, and they're not even going to be in the same neighborhood. Why would you think they're going to match or beat another deal out there in the open market? So anybody on television, on radio, anybody writing that silliness, okay? I just want you to know I'm going to just put it out there and squash it. Like I have been squashing for months. You know, oh, no, they'll tag him. Oh, they'll ta no, they'll give him a contract. You heard all oh, a bunch of media members. They were convinced. So we're the only ones that we had the absolute on it. 
We didn't tell you maybe if. No, 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 no. I didn't do that. I never do that. I don't play the fence. Well, maybe it could happen here or it could happen there. Or I, could, I don't play that shit. I'm either right or wrong. That's how I like doing it. I go all in, period. And for months, I told you he ain't getting tagged and he's not getting a long-term contract. And let everybody else write and talk about that bullshit when it ain't going to happen. Just like Jonathan Taylor and Dalvin Cook. Yeah, no, because the Dolphins are dying to give them big money or trade for them. Dumbasses. Okay, so let's stop with this bullshit. There's no return for Christian Wilkins. He's done. He's moved on. Okay, Sealer and Wilkins are no longer a pair anymore. It's over. So they'll have to get their defensive tackle in the draft or in free agency or trade. I don't know. However it happens, we'll find out who's available. We got to wait till another couple of days, and then we'll have a better feel, and then we can get into that, get into free agency. Now, let's talk about another subject that, again, is incredibly irresponsible by media members and then it influences you because you go parroting exactly what they said which makes no sense like the guy that reached out to me about chris jones because apparently he heard it from my man omar which is just ridiculous that you would even talk about chris jones okay This is the big O show. This is the big O show.